Hello and welcome back folks. Today I'd like to talk about the backlight technology used in Casio digital watches. We're going to compare the different types of backlights used and I'd like to offer my opinion as to why Casio seems to be making fewer models with EL or electroluminescent panels. And that's coming up in wrist action. When digital watches first hit the market in 1972, they didn't require a separate backlight in order to tell the time in the dark. This was because the time display was built using LED. However, this was very power intensive for the battery and the display would only come on for about a second at a time when a button was pressed. Seiko created the first digital watch with an always-on display by using LCD in 1973 and Casio began creating their LCD display watches not too long after, in 1974. Using LCD panels for the display meant that a separate backlight had to be added in order to see the display in the dark. Let's now look at the different types of backlights implemented in Casio's range. Here we see three different watches showing the progression of backlight technology over the years. The F91W on the left uses a coloured LCD, which in this case is green, at one end of the watch. We'll look at these in the dark later, but the F91W's backlight is not the greatest to be honest. LCD creates hot spots, and the intensity reduces with the distance away from the bulb. Here is the illumination in action, and as you can see, it barely lights up a quarter of the screen. However, I don't think that it's a problem with the LCD chip being of a weak intensity, but rather with the way that Casio has installed it. The bulb has been installed to point up to the surface, meaning that most of the light is pointing towards dead space. What they should have done is to install the bulb on its side so that the light shines towards the screen. Not sure why they've done this, perhaps it was a cost cutting measure, or maybe a limitation in the board itself. The watch in the middle uses electroluminescent technology. This was introduced in Casio watches in the mid 90s. The benefits of electroluminescent or EL backlighting is that the whole panel lights up. The color is usually a blue, green or turquoise and it's evenly distributed without any heat spots. Here we see a couple of examples of EL backlighting in action and it's my personal favorite when it comes to the backlight technology. The brightness is consistent across the whole panel. This watch even features full auto EL, where it turns on automatically when the wrist is angled and the watch detects that the ambient light available is low. EL backlighting does have its downsides though. They are usually manufactured by using parts coated with zinc sulfide doped with copper. So we're talking about environmental costs. The panel illuminates when a high voltage than that provided by the watch's battery is passed through. Therefore, watches with electroluminescence require a power converter to be built in to operate the lighting. You can hear a buzzing sound coming from the watch when the power converter is working, and it can also drain the battery. These facts are mentioned in manuals of watches with built-in EL backlights. Another downside to EL backlights is that they can fade over time. This should be negligible to non-existent in watches though, as it would require hundreds to thousands of hours of operation before it starts to have an impact. I think that it's for these reasons why Casio seems to have gone back to using LEDs in their latest range of watches, which is what we'll look at next. The watch on the right is of course the GA2100, one of Casio's newer range of watches. They've gone back to using LEDs for the backlight, this time using white LEDs, and they've branded it as Super Illuminator. The glow that you're seeing here is the glow from the loom that's been applied to the hands. This fades quickly in the dark, and you can start using the backlight. The white LED is actually quite bright and seems to work really well. The GA2100 features a double LED, an LED light for the face, and another one for the digital display. 
They've also pointed the LED correctly this time, making sure that the light points towards the dial instead of up towards the surface. And here is a shot of the new white LED backlights in action on the digital display of the GBX100. As you can see, it's enough to illuminate the whole display, but you can still see heat spots along the bottom. Due to its low power consumption and advancements in the brightness, I can see why Casio has gone back to using LEDs for its backlights, even though the electroluminescent lighting was easier on the eye. So that's all I have for you today. Let me know what your favorite form of backlight is. This has been Alan from Wrist Action and I'll see you next time.